Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Welcome to Cowbell. I'm outside the kitchen at the restaurant at Cowbell Brewing Company, where I'm joined by Tony Anderson, the chef here at the restaurant. Tony, the restaurant employs a certain philosophy. Can you tell me a bit about that? So here at Cowbell, uh, we are 75% Huron County local, locally sourced food. We are a semi-fine dining restaurant. We make our own burgers in-house. We bring it in in chuck form, and then we cut it down and we grind it ourselves, patty it, and then we cook it all fresh. So when someone does come in and uh, sit down at the restaurant, what can they expect? When they walk in the front door, you can expect nice, friendly service right when you walk in. When you sit down at the table, you have a different amount of craft beers that you can choose from. And then we have about a three-page menu that you can choose from, which is a fantastic menu in itself. Now, talking about the, the beers, being in a brewery, do some of the menu items get certain pairings with uh, suggestions with the beers? Yes, so on our menu, uh, each menu item has a pairing of beer that we have diligently tasted and went through to make sure that it does go well with the item that it is on. With that, I mean, we also do specials that we incorporate beer in with our food. Uh, so we try to do that as much as possible. On the menu today, Cowbell's top seller, the original burger, which is paired with Gravel Run, Cowbell's IPA. And for dessert, the restaurant's signature beer pie, made with McNoll's Mission, their honey brown ale. In the kitchen, Tony walks us through the process of making the original burger. It takes about seven minutes to cook the burger. It's about three and a half minutes each side. You wanna get a nice bark on each side. So that way when you, when you eat the burger, you get a nice little crunch from the bark as well. Here we have our house-made burger sauce. Uh, which has, it's got a bunch of spices and it's got some hot sauce in there, some pickle juice. It's very, very delicious. Okay, and then we have sliced pickles. Okay, so we get a little bit of kale on top there. We have our tomato and then we have our cheddar cheese. So that's our classic burger setup. Tony also prepared their signature dessert dish, the beer pie. It's got the nice, so meringue top and then we burn the top so that way it gets a nice brown color. We have the chocolate ganache on the bottom which is made with the beer and then we have the pretzel crust. I'm back in the dining room, I'm cozied up in front of the fire and I got quite the feast in front of me. I got the burger with fries and its beer pairing as well as the beer pie that comes with its own separate beer pairing. But enough talk, it's time to eat. Mmm. Oh. That burger is seriously good. The flavors just come together so well. You got the kale, the cheese, the tomato, that premium patty, and I really like the flavor of that burger sauce. Oh, where has this been all my life? Now to try the beer. The Gravel Run IPA is light in color and flavor, making it the perfect pairing for the delicious burger. While this burger is delicious, I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna dive into the beer pie. Mm. Chocolatey, creamy, but you got a bit of that good flavor. Now, to try it with the pairing that it comes with. The beer pie is served with the Lorna Bray Fly Girl a beautifully creamy, smooth, dark stout that blends perfectly with the rich, chocolatey dessert. If you want a great pairing, be sure to come down to Cowbell Brewing for a great meal and a great beer. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious.